Yeah. The NDC yeah. side and the minister is saying that there was nothing wrong with it. They've said there's nothing wrong well, with it. It's just they a misunderstanding. They negotiated it, so therefore they will say that. Mm. The thing is that, Mary, as, as uh, Philip said earlier, when this thing started, there was no antagonism or anything because they were the ones who were badgering the minister to negotiate, to renegotiate the contract. Mm -hmm. They were the ones who came here and were really sort of pleading with the minister to renegotiate, let us renegotiate, we are willing, we want to stay in Ghana, we want to do more business, we're happy here, da 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 da. And so we were actually taken aback when we got to Dubai and we found out that uh, they were feigning ignorance of actually coming here to plead with the minister to, <laughs> to get someone there to negotiate. They wanted the minister to come and the minister said, no way. The minister kept refusing over a long period until, you know, when you look in the agreement, for any dispute at all, you have to negotiate first of all. Mm -hmm. That is how the agreement works. So on that basis, and on the basis that they had been seeing the minister and, you know, asking for, you know, sitting down, and there was no quarrel, there was no reason why a negotiation, or at least, and at least one should show that courtesy to, to, to sit down and see whether it could be worked out. But um, it didn't work out that way, um, unfortunately. It did not work out that way. Um, so as far as we are concerned, the options are there, they are clear. I do not understand, well I do understand why the minority keeps saying it was a good contract, because they negotiated it. They're not going to say that they negotiated a bad contract. But I'm sorry, it was not a good contract. It is not in the best interest of Ghana, and something has to be done about it. What I would like Ghanaians to do is to refocus their minds on the fact that $200 million of their hard-earned cash is being given to an organization headed by a 29-year-old gentleman who, and with, for, for what value, we don't see. We don't see what value they have given us to earn $200 million. I don't have a problem with capital, capitalism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a capitalist myself. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with entrepreneurism. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that at all. And I believe that if someone comes up with a brilliant business idea, they should get some reward from it. Mm -hmm. So I don't even have a problem with a Mary coming and doing something and earning some money. But it's a question of unjust enrichment. It's a question is of if you ask a reasonable man at Kokumlimli whether this is a fair deal, whether they are going to say yes or no. In England, they say the man on the Clapham omnibus. Here, I'm using Kokumlimli, you know. And I think most people, most right-thinking, reasonable people will say that collecting $200 million in a developing country of taxpayers' money for doing nothing is it cannot be allowed to stand. That is where the minds of Ghanaians should be focused, not on whether $10,000 or $2,000 had been used to buy a business class ticket. <laughs> I mean, because with the greatest respect, <laughs> Philip and I, if we travel, we all buy our own business class tickets, as do a lot of Ghanaians in this country. So that is not where the focus is. The focus is on the fact that $200 million of your money, you, your money, my money, everybody in this room's money, everybody in this country's money is being used to pay people who have done nothing. $8.5 million every month. Whether we have that money or not, we have to find it. Every single month, a minimum of $8.5 million is being paid to America. Every single month, as we speak, you know, plus the variable element. So it's nearer $9 million every month that we have to find to pay every single month. And if we were getting value for it, that would be fine. But we are not getting enough value to justify that. Let's look at the company PPR. They brought their financing. They bought the equipment. And yet they are charging 360 million, which means that they have made enough profit in spite of paying interest on the monies that they've borrowed, and in spite of paying for the equipment, and in spite of providing labor services and setting up here in Ghana. Ameri has no presence here in Ghana that we know of, no official presence that we know of. 
Okay, so in spite of doing all that, PPR is charging 360 million and, and making a profit on, or, or, within that 360 million. Now somebody somewhere is making more profit than the people who have gone and borrowed money, are paying interest on the money, have come and spent money here to set up, have employed Ghanaians to help them to actually provide the energy to us. So let's think about that. That is where our mind should be directed at. About what Amari uh, Amer has done. That's, that's very powerful advocacy. I'm sure that as the program goes out, uh, if there are responses, the NDC guys will respond. Uh, well, the other but, thing is, um, mm, I don't really understand what the NDC are about and the minister. The former minister. Yeah, the former minister. I mean, going all over the place, holding press conferences and so on. If you think you've negotiated a good agreement, sit quietly. A new government has come, and they think they can get a better deal. What is wrong with that? It's all for the benefit of Ghana. On whose side is he on? Why is he so agitated <laughs> that we are trying to get a better deal for this country? It beats my mind. Whenever I hear them going on and on, I wonder on whose side they are on. Are they on the side of Ameri or they on the side of Ghana? Because I don't get it. Okay, I got a point you're making. So you're saying that, so I'm a minister. I go to do a deal, and uh, instead of Ghana paying 200 cities, I get Ghana to pay 100 cities. Then I'm out of office. Somebody comes and says, okay, we can still go further. We can now pay 70 cities. You are thinking that he should be excited by that? Okay. Why not? It's for the benefit of Ghana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so when you come out screaming your head off, on whose side are you on? Because of the element of fraud that is being alleged that, that they stole money, they padded the contracts, so they pocketed some money. I think that's what he's agitated about. About the fraud? About the allegation that some money but, was padded. I thought that that's a matter that should corruption. be... I thought that that is a matter that should be left for America. Well, but if they signed the contracts, then the suggestion is that they got some of the money. No, but fraud. Sometimes... Fraud cannot be detected by the party who signed the contract. But during the campaign, you guys said that they had stolen money, that they are thieves. And an example is Ameri. And well, so that's what he's probably well, defending. So we're trying to get a better deal. Yes, but you already called them thieves on Ameri. So when you come and say that... So they are opposed to us getting a better deal. They are opposed to you not correcting the error of the campaign that they are not thieves. Or is it that because if we get it reduced, whatever they are getting will be reduced? Well, they are thinking that you are thinking... So in thinking, that sense, it is their interest they are fighting no, for. No, they are thinking that you are thinking that they are thieves and they want the people of Ghana to know that they no, are No, we thieves. need to really appreciate it. Because from what you're saying, mm. is it that because their personal interest and that indeed if there is a reduction in that money, whatever it is, they get to be reduced and that is why they are making but the money. What about it? Shouldn't they have gotten it already by now? Maybe. I'm sorry? Whatever it is they are getting, ongoing. shouldn't they have gotten it already by it now? It is ongoing. It is a five-year deal. Also, One you year pay is them. gone. You pay, we pay, we pay Ameri $8 million a every month. month. A month. A month. Okay. One year is gone. So if there's some connection there, it means that people are getting the money every month. Exactly. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is not going to go away soon because people's integrity is on the line then. So that's why they're going to complain. Thank <laughs> you.